Hello there, this is 3 Watson speaking and one welcome to 3 Watson Gaming YouTube channel. Before I start on this video, I had to make an announcement regarding to my YouTube channel as well as a message to all of my viewers. I am pleased to say that starting from Sunday 3rd of October at 11.40 a.m. Singapore Standard Time, there will be a change into the new look on my YouTube channel, especially the new logo for my channel and bears its new name SNGP and DLE, which is abbreviation for Three Watson Natural Agent Gaming Professional and Daily Life Vlogs. And here is a message to all of my viewers on YouTube. If you watched the previous or older videos since I started the YouTube channel since 20, October 21st, 2015, on the newer videos, that you have not watched or the first time viewers who watch one of my videos and eventually subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know how to say that but I will say a big thank you to all 185 subscribers for giving the support on my channel and do remember every subscriber counts. Well, literally I have enough of talking because there are so many cats I had to speak around for the sake, I you give a random text to speak voice to narrate for the whole video. I hope you enjoy it and do apologize about the changes. Thank you for understanding. And now, on to this video. Thank you, buddy. Let's begin. For today's videos, he will tell and discuss you about the very slow limited stop single door Fugitech elevators in the housing blocks at Unmokio Avenue 3, particularly blocks 127 and 128. As normally, single door elevators are very rare to find here in Singapore but eventually, as on the present day, it had been modernized and in working condition or being demolished in order to be replaced to the two-door traction elevators. This very slow one-door Fugitech elevators was originally built in the 1970s and were modernized in 1990s. Each residential block has two single-door elevators, and eventually one got replaced to a 1997 two-door Fugitech traction elevator, and by 2010s, two more new Fugitech elevators were built. Make the HDP blocks were accessible to four elevators, where typically, except some of the blocks in which now has two elevators instead of four. Okay then, into the first video clip, which was shot at block 128 on Mokio Avenue 3, which that he ride in a modded 1970 single door Fugitech elevator. In this elevator, the floor numbers were limited. The order will go. Story 1, Story 6 and Story 10. He will be wondering that how the residents in that block will make it to Story 10 on time. Plus, in Story 11, where the two-door elevator stops here, where is a motor for the single-door elevator but you can find out shortly. Anyways, here it is.
when he climbed up into story 11, where the two-door elevator stops here, where is a motor unit for working single-door elevators. Usually, Fugitech manufactured and installed the two single-door elevators when the housing residential flats were built in the 1970s. Only one of the two elevators was replaced to a pre-modern two-door elevator that lot Fugitech technicians did in 1997. Anyways, that's wraps up in the information, let's ride down to the main story of this block. Particularly, every time people rode up and down this elevator, the motor tends to age up and move at a very slow pace. The information to be known, that the single door elevators may get off and jerk it up and stuck in between floors. That is, why Singapore's Housing Development Board initialized the Lift Upgrading Program, or LUP, and Selective Lift Replacement Program, or SLRP, where the elevator was modernized or getting replaced through the process. Let's go for the further details about LUP and SLRP. Lift Upgrading Program, LUP, is a Singapore Housing and Development Board, HDME, project which upgrades and improves the facilities of the lifts at HDME flats. This project is for housing blocks built before the year 1996, which were built with lifts that only serve some floors to meet privacy demands and to cut costs. A poll with a 75% majority, calculated among citizen households, in favor is needed for the upgrading to begin. The non-citizen residents who stay in the same HDB block have no polling rights. While, as the HDB introduced a new selective lift replacement program, SLRP, to help replace about 750 old lifts with modern lifts that come with more energy-efficient motors, vision panels and infrared doors with motion safety sensors for added energy efficiency, safety and security. These lifts were installed between 1987 and 1997, and are in blocks that are already barrier-free and do not need upgrading under the Lift Upgrading Program, LUP. HDB will help co-pay for the replacement of these lifts, when the town council is ready to replace them. Okay, enjoy then, now to the Fugitech Twin Door Traction Elevators. This is built in 1997 and 2011 respectively, and it reached the destination, for example, Story 10, much faster than the single door elevator. Now on to a video clip that this elevator takes us all the way to story 11 but does not stop at story 2. But if you can recognize which block that has twin door Fugitech elevators that serve all floors, in that case, it will show much much later in this video. But for now, here it is.
Here we are at story 10, where it is a hub for all four elevators, in that case three were twin door elevators, and the remainder is a single door elevator. As walking the corridor to lifts B and C, where is a custom elevator set of tanks to the HDB's lift upgrading program modernization scheme. As same, when we wrote a single door elevator part, there is a ceramic tiles in story 11 where is a motor room is located. We ride up to story 11 on lift A, was a 2011 Fugitech traction elevator. Now, let's ride down on lift C to story 1. What used to be a 1970s Fugitech single door elevator, and it was now replaced to a 1997 Fugitech twin door traction elevator. Now you will be wondering, this video is particularly only meant for single door elevators, but he include the twin door elevators and compare the difference about the duration, when he or she take an elevator and arrive at his or her destination. As you know, the word elevators is the same word as lifts or in French, ascensor. Now, moving on to the elevators at block 127 on Mokio Avenue 3, only lift C of this particularly residential block is a 1997 Fugitech twin door traction elevator that can serve all floors, especially story 2. As same as the previous block, and under the HDBLUP scheme, this elevator format was in sequence that lift B was a single door elevator and lift C was a twin door elevator. Now on to the brief details of the elevators at block 127. It is the same four elevator format as at block 128, so let's briefly details about it starting at lift B, following in a descending order of an alphabet, then on to lift C, B and A. First on the list is lift B is a 2011 Fugitech traction elevator. This is an elevator which modern technology will provide the security and safety of the residents. Moving on, then on to lift C, was a 1997 Fugitech twin door traction elevator and one beside lift C is lift B, was a very slow modded 1970s single door Fugitech elevator. As comparison to both elevators, only lift C can reach the destination faster, whether you are riding up and down in a traction elevator, while on lift B, has a problem, notice, when he or she enter a limited floor elevator. The system override the computer of lift B and say overload, but it shouldn't be, as single door elevator capacity limit was 540 kilograms and or no more than 8 people. More problem about the single door elevator at lift B, once we ride in it. And finally onto lift A, is the same lift, as lift B. 
in effect that both 2011 Fugitec traction elevators were installed to ease up the resident's problems about he or she felt that it was too difficult to climb up the stairs up to their housing stories. In this way, the residents of this block, including elderly or person with disabilities, can use these three twin-door traction elevators, while residents living on stories 6 and 10, and shop owners, who operate the numbers of shops from block 128, can access to this particularly block at story 1, may use the single-door elevator. Now, get your very glitchy single-door Fugitech elevator, as a person enter this particularly elevator, the indicator shown overload. Fact, this is due to programming malfunction. What on earth is this? It's also the same when people are lighting from an elevator. As same as what he did in block 128, climbing up to story 11 at block 127, as where the twin door Fugitech traction elevator stops here, there is a ceramic tile wall covering the motor and metal braided cables for the single door elevator. At the view at story 11, you can see the structure, where the lift beam was built. Now down to story 10, where you can partially see the structure where lift A was built. Now, let's use a single door elevator to ride down to story 1, and see what is happening during the trip down. Oh my god! This can't be possible! He supposed to stop at story 1, but instead I pass it and stop at story 6. Sam, I think he is getting trouble when riding down to story 1 on a single door elevator. You're right, Mike. In effect, this is true, when people are facing trouble when riding down on a single door elevator to story 1 from story 10. Well, what about that, Sam and Mike, he was made it down to story 1 of block 127. I agree, Mary, he surely made it. What about your opinion, Mike? Right behind you, Sam and Mary. Plus, when I observe this single door Fugitech elevator, there is a programming glitch, when he or she board or light to slash from an elevator, the indicator will say overload, and when heading down, the system in which override by the programming, bypass the trip and stops at story 6, instead going down to story 1. Now, it's my turn to narrate the finale of the entire video. Well, I am about to say about that, but since you're lucky to narrate, and go to it. Good luck in the last part of the video narration, Microsoft Mike. The finale of the video will show the ride of the 1997 Twin Door Fugitech Traction Elevator and at right to the end of the video, there will be a speed battle that modded 1970s Single Door Fugitech Traction Elevator versus either 1997 or 2011 Twin Door Fugitech Traction Elevator. Hope that you will like the last part.
destroy 11. Thank you. 